So this weekend we are off the homestead and we are in Webster City, Iowa at the first ever Murray McMurray Hatchery Murray Fest. I'm also speaking this weekend and we're gonna hang out with some vendors and hang out with some people and I have a feeling there's a bunch of crazy chicken people here. Where are you guys from? South Dakota. And what, what brings you guys here today? To look at farm stuff. Look at farm stuff? And to the people. Yeah. What's, uh, what's your favorite? you have a favorite chicken breed? I do. Uh, the one with the fluffy heads, the fluffy fur on the head. The fluffy fur? Yep. We had one like that called Fuzzy Muggins. You got a favorite animal? Cats and horses. How about you? Donkeys and cats. Donkeys? Donkeys and nice. Horses and yeah, donkeys. cats and dogs. Awesome. Thanks, guys. <laughs> hey, it's the Mindful Homesteader. How's it going? <laughs> what brings you here? Uh, Mick Murray brought me out here. They gave me a call and said, hey, we're doing this conference. Do you want to come out and yeah. check what, it out? What, are you, said, what sure. are you selling? What are you selling? So we're selling our homemade lard soap. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a hand salves and I got some beard oils as well that I brought. Okay. You can find this online? Your yep, website. you can find it at mindfulhomestead.com if you're interested in that. Uh, there's nothing up there right now, but in a week or two after the show, everything we have left over, I'll be putting up on the website. But you can order it right to your door. You put up an event yourself, don't you? We do, yeah. Where's so it at? Very similar to this. We're going to be having it in Swansea, New Hampshire this year. It's called Homesteaders of New England. Uh, it's going to be September 14th and 15th this year. Yeah, cool. And that's a uh, website, Homesteaders of New England? Yep, website? just newenglandhomesteaders.com. Homesteaders of New England was taken. I don't know who got it, but, <laughs> but newenglandhomesteaders.com for more info on that. Okay, I'm here with Joe from Premier One. This is new? This is. This is our twist butler. Yep. And that is for winding net. I like using it if I'm going through thickets or brush, but a lot of folks have been enjoying it just for regular netting, moving it in their pastures. Uh, so I already mostly preloaded the fence, but it's simple as winding it up. Make sure I'm catching Pull that out. Okay. So it slides on the ground. Yep. And that's that. Wow. So, because I'm picturing it, okay, I was picturing something different. I thought we were going to have to lay it on the ground and then wind it. Oh, no. But, so it's already up. Keep and then, it up. Um, you don't have to bend over. Yeah. Because I was picturing it get, like, sticks and stuff would get stuck in there. Mm -hmm. But Not, I guess if it's already up. It's already up, so you're reducing yeah. your uh, stick accumulation at that point. And then, how, like, how long of a net would that hold? So this is a 100-foot roll. If I'm doing some storage, the handle pops off. I would chase this out with a dowel and just hang it up and use this on another roll. And then, is that how you would unroll it too? Like, if you wanted to oh. set it up? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it looks, it looks nice. I mean, that looks so easy. You kind of do that with one hand. <laughs> okay, so I'm here with So Right Seeds. And where are you guys from? Tell us about what you guys do. We are outside of Kansas City. I'm Patty. My husband, Daryl, and I are the owners. And we are an heirloom garden seed company. Um, we just love to garden and provide heirloom non-GMO seeds for our customers. And then uh, you have a website people can buy online at all? Yeah. Our website is so right seeds, S O W right seeds.com. Yeah. Like so right seeds, so the land. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, we have all of our varieties are on our website and today we have our col our show collections here okay. with us. So Very cool. Yeah. Thank you. So I just got a bunch of seeds from So Right Seeds. I'm so excited. So this is like their So excited. I'm so excited. Um, their herbal mix. So we've got echinacea, mint, because I'm more interested in some of these herbs and growing these herbs. We have a bunch of seeds, but I'm excited to have some of these ones. And I actually have a few seeds of theirs that we planted. They're, they're like garden seeds, like corn and like, yeah. what else Food. we planted? Zucchini. And they all did, they're all doing really well in our, our place. So I know these seeds are really good. Jenna said, why are you bringing that? And I was like, hold up. 
are you doing today? Good. What is this? It's a poultry parting cone. You, you put, put the put the chicken on here, makes it easier to cut it up. So um, it's a new product for us that David designed it kind of. Yeah, and, you just um, clamp it to the table? You just clamp it to the table, yeah. Wow. I started following you on uh, Instagram this morning. Oh, I really? saw your hat. Oh, I'd, cool. I've seen you like on Instagram before and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. you've right got. On. That's a lung rake. And what is, is this just a handle or? Um, you attach it to a garden hose. I've got, oh. if you buy one, you get an attachment with it. You attach it to a garden hose and you can spray as you're, you're kind of cleaning the chicken That's out. That's awesome. So. Yeah, because we have one, but it's just, it, you don't attach it to anything. It's just I a, see. It's just, just like a, a manual type of thing. Yeah, it's yeah. just a man, but it's not a yeah. water. And the water helps? Helps, to yeah, clean it all out. Clean it all out oh, okay. So. Okay, what's your name? Where are you guys from? Uh, I'm Jennifer Chondo, and my best friend and business partner is Angela Miller. We started the Women's Homestead Society out of a need that we found in our own community to bring women together to really inspire them and equip them to continue going. This life is really isolating at times. And there are a lot of conferences that are really based towards families and men in this industry and this lifestyle, but really women are the heart of the home. So we wanted to make sure that we were really pouring into them. So we host an annual conference in Middle Tennessee every April. And then in 2025, we are actually moving out west and we will be hosting a conference in Oregon as well to be able to create communities across the United States. Go for it. Hey, look at this. They're not chicken nipple waters, but they're uh, human waters that you can fill up your water bottles. That's pretty cool. I'm here with the good egg. Good egg? Good egg. Right? Tell you me about, tell me about what, what this is. We invented an egg brush for cleaning backyard chicken and duck and well, whatever kind of backyard poultry you have. We got ducks during COVID and we realized that uh, their eggs can be pretty gross and we talked to a lot of our friends that have chickens and they're like we wish there was a dedicated tool for cleaning chicken eggs we got sick of using our sponges and rags and all that stuff so we made something that uh fits to the size of an egg check that out it's gentle. gentle it's gentle yeah we like to think of it just as a tool right it's like a lot of people want to like us collect their chicken eggs from the coop put them on their counter, maybe knock some of the bigger stuff off, but not wash them until they're ready to eat them. Right. That's what we like to do as well. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, whenever we have a, a muddy, dirty, poopy egg, we just give it to our pigs. <laughs> yeah, that's what everyone does. That's but, too you dirty, know, throw it out. But instead of this, we, we can use that. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yep. What about quail eggs? Quail eggs, that, <laughs> like yeah. We're, we're, we're workshopping it right now, okay? I'm sure somebody mentioned yeah. that. Uh, so, you have a website people can buy online? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Goodeggstuff.co. And that's the soil, just giving that information. It's kind of like a Nice These are chicken feeders? Yep, yep. There's our 80-pound version here. Wow, 80 pounds of feed. 80 pounds feed, yep. And it's off the ground. Yep, well, and you can adjust the height. Wow. And it's, it's, this is designed so chickens don't sit on the top of it. And they're drip edges so the water doesn't get into the feed port. So that's... And they come right up to it and Yep, just... they come stick their heads in and eat. Okay. And that way it keeps the feed dry and they can get 100% of the feed. Wow. Okay. So if you let it go dry, they, they eat all of it. There's no wasted feed in there. Nothing sitting in the corner. Can you adjust that? Yep, yep. Telescope. I don't have that today, but I... Oh, yeah, those are the feet? Yeah. Yep. 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 Oh, okay. So it's all custom. People buy them for turkeys. Set it up full yes. life for turkeys. I can see that. Or really low for smaller chick chickens. Oh. It's a rotor mold in North Carolina. It's all U.S. built. So got to make it really... It's, it's just a really solid part, you know. It's, yeah, as long as it has feet in there, you know, it's, oh, yeah. it's oh, not yeah. going to blow away or nothing. Oh, no, no, it's yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm here with Rachel. Rachel, this is your book, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, Very chic. Book. So it's funny, uh, we just bought this book not too long ago, and we've read it from cover to cover, and we love it. And this is one of the reasons why we decided to get sheep. And uh, so tell us about your book. Yeah, so... Um, 
The funny story with this is that I've always wanted to write a book, but I was thinking it was gonna be more like a fantasy book, like about fairies and dragons and that kind of stuff. So we were at Homesteaders of America trying to sell sheep milk soap and yarn and products from our sheep. And people kept asking me questions about how to raise the sheep and how to get milk from it. And I had just found out I was pregnant, so morning sickness was a real problem at that point. I was not making sense to people. And so this one guy just starts like waving his hands and he's like, well, where's your book? Where's your pamphlet? Like I need information. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I, I just, was, I've been weird up to this point. No one was interested except at Homestead of America. So I looked at my husband and I was like, well, Sean and Beth Daughtery have like those little pamphlets for five bucks. I'll just knock together one over a weekend and we'll sell it for five bucks and on we go. And um, Janet Garman was getting ready to start Sawdust Publishing. And so I reached out to her and I said, you know, could you kind of walk me through some of this author stuff? And she's like, well, I'll do you one better. Would you like to write a book with our company? And I yeah. was like, well, yes, I would. So, um, so me being me, I didn't just bang together a nice little teeny tiny book. I wanted a tome um, because I wanted the book that I, I I wanted to buy when I first started getting sheep. I'm sorry, nap time has not been a thing this weekend. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> so I also interviewed a lot of dairy shepherds in here. So there's um quite a few um, pull out boxes with other dairy shepherds that I interviewed who. Um, milk different breeds of sheep because I wanted to let people know like you can get the dairy specific breeds but that's not always available in all parts of our country because dairy sheep are still very rare so you can you can milk all breeds of sheep and sometimes it's preferable to milk a non-dairy breed of sheep just given your location like in Kentucky where I'm at dairy sheep are really hard to keep alive because of parasites and that kind of thing so we have Gulf Coast natives um, they produce less milk for a shorter amount of time but we also get away with less inputs with them. So if you want to buy your book, where, where do they have it at? Like, where do you have it? Yeah, we have it on Amazon, Pella Vida, Sawdust Publishing, and my own website is whoopsiedaisyfarm.com. And if you order from me, I will sign it for you. Oh, man. I should have ordered it from you then. <laughs> I think we ordered it from Amazon. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, it's the morning of... This morning, I'm the first one to talk today. And we're talking about building stationary coops and movable chicken coops. A little nervous I think that's pretty normal but uh, yeah we're gonna get it done today we also have a YouTube channel so pretty much everything that you're gonna see today uh, I've done a video on uh, DIY video or I've talked about it numerous times on my channel <laughs> and try to use a movable structure first and then figure it out stationary cube. Uh, it took me All right, that's it. Uh, that was my talk. I talked for about an hour. It went pretty good. Good turnout. Thank you everyone for listening to me. Once I start talking on stage like that, the nervousness kind of just goes away. It's just the priorness. I'm a little nervous, but then during it's like, okay, I'm just talking to some friends here. We're just hanging out and we're just talking. So it was good. All right, I'm here with Dahlia. Hi! Tell us what you're doing here, where you're from. What's well, going on? okay, my name is Dahlia, <laughs> but most people know me as the president of Chickenlandia. Yes, there you go. <laughs> so I have a YouTube channel called Welcome to Chickenlandia, and Murray just contacted me and they were like, Would you like to speak at Murray Fest? And I think this is like the first event that they've done like this yes it was yep it has been yeah. so it's been really awesome yeah, and you this, traveled a quite a distance to get here i did so i'm from northwest washington bellingham and so i had to drive from bellingham washington to seattle then i had to fly to denver then i had to fly to des moines <laughs> then i had to drive up here <laughs> well plus the time difference yes, right yes i would bet you might be the the person that's that traveled the longest, I would think. <laughs> I think I might be. What'd you speak on this weekend? I did one class on um, chicken keeping the way nature intended. Mm -hmm. So it's basically like taking modern chicken keeping and kind of unlearning some stuff so that we can get it back to really the traditional way of keeping chickens that humans have done for millennia. Right. Um, and then today I did uh, feeding chickens in, in the low cost way. So, and also keeping them healthy. So I taught a class, I taught in the class about a little bit about nutrition and giving them like healthy scraps and stuff like that. And then I did a demo to, um, for sprouting grains and fermenting feed. You have a YouTube channel? Yes. What's the YouTube channel? Welcome to Chickenlandia. Welcome to Chickenlandia. Because everyone's welcome. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. You have a book, right? You have a book I out do. There? Yeah, I have a book. Uh, the book is called Let's All Keep Chickens. Okay. And I have an online course, and that is Backyard Chickens 101, a chicken course for everyone. That's awesome. So, so nice to meet you and talk with you. Yeah, yeah. you too. Yeah, I'm right. so glad I met you in person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've been following you a long time. So. Very cool. Thank you. All right, so I'm here with Omelette. Tell us Hi. about omelette. What's omelette? So, omelette is a British based product design company that makes chicken coops and other pet products, but predominantly chicken coops. We've been going for 20 years, um, but only more recently come to the States, uh, which we're loving because apparently you guys have got lots of land and lots of chickens. <laughs> yeah. So, that's perfect. A big part of our design ethos is about conscious choice of materials and sustainability. So you should never have to replace your egg glue. You might need to replace a part, probably won't, but you might, and if you do, then we sell our parts separately. And our, a big feature of our egg glues for the easy clean is our slide out droppings trays. So here, there's a little lever, you just press that, and you fill it out, there we go. And you can then just tip nice. your chicken poop off straight into your compost or wherever yeah. you want to use it. Yeah, so I have yeah. uh, I have the omelette automatic chicken coop door. Oh yeah, That's yeah, That's why yeah. I've been using it for like two years. Yes. Still going strong. I yeah. love it. Oh, I, amazing. I, I've tried numerous of coop doors. Yeah. And they all yeah, they yeah. all kind of fail at a certain point. At a certain point, right. So we. these ones have been, this one has been most reliable. All right, so they're doing a herding dog demonstration. So this should be fun. Typically when you go to these events, you have thousands of people that come to these events, um, other ones that we've been to, but this one is a little bit more intimate and is actually, I feel like, nicer because it's less crowded and it's more like a small town atmosphere. And you can just walk around and hang out with people, talk to people, which is nice, and meet people that, you know, watch our YouTube. And it's so nice to meet people who do watch our YouTube channel because it kind of, you can kind of put a face uh, there and shake a hand and a hug and a high five and it, it, it um, it's motivational for us and inspirational for us to, to meet folks in real life that watch us and so which is pretty cool. Hey, Jason, how are you doing? I love the shirt. Yeah, you like that. <laughs> nice to see you. Thank you, man. <laughs> I, I, uh, what flavor did you get? Strawberry. Strawberry With boba. jelly. And handmade egg roll. Yay. Try it. That's a big old shirt. That's a good Well, it has uh, to be big. It has to go the little tapioca. That's a good uh, chicken buttering straw. <laughs> for bagging, for bagging poultry. Cooking from scratch, to me, is a vital skill. It's as vital as them knowing how to raise chickens, how to milk a cow, how to have a garden. Because like I said, earning a paycheck may not always be enough. They may not always be able to buy food to feed their family. Okay, so tell me your names. Kim. Carol. And you guys work for McMurray Hatchery? Yes. yes and so what, what do you guys do there? In the Take orders. Over Take the orders. So if someone calls and wants to order some chickens? Mm -hmm. It's going to be us or one of our other team members. Really? And how long have you guys been doing that? Uh, almost 20 years. 20 years. Since 2011. Wow. So you guys, uh, do you guys know like what's the What's the most popular thing that people order, oh I guess? Oh, any kind of baby chick. Um, <laughs> Red Stars, I think. Yeah, Red, Red stars? stars are a big sale. They're yeah. our best brown egg layer. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Pearl yeah. White Leghorns, they're our best white egg right. layer. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. That's white amazing. White and two blues, yeah. white and two greens for the colored egg layers. Yep. Yeah. Americana, they like those. Right. Colored egg layers. Yeah. Well. Colored egg layers, mm -hmm. people like. Yes, yeah. they love that. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate yes. what you do. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good day. <laughs> so, what are you guys' names? Where are you from? Doug and Ginger Slater. And uh, we're from Champaign, Urbana, Illinois. Nice. Right, so, what brings you guys here to this event? Um, we started a small homestead three years ago, and we have quail, turkeys, and chickens. Learning any workshops up while you're here, or are you guys yes. uh, just hanging out? Attended years. Mm -hmm. I just finished attending a, uh, a herding dog. 
because we have a blue healer that uh, we herd the chicken and turkeys with. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, okay. So, cool. tried to hit a bunch of them so that we have more knowledge. Yeah, you guys have a YouTube channel at all? Yes. Um, we're trying to start one, and it's Rustic Wing Acres. Awesome. Glad to meet you guys. All right, I'm here with Coffee with the Chicken Ladies, right? Hey! What's your guys' names and what are you guys about? I'm Chrissy. I'm Holly. And we talk about chickens. And so what is Coffee with Chicken Ladies? We are a podcast all about chickens. Right, really? so pet chickens, I mean, breeding, everything. Everything you could possibly want to know about chickens is what we talk about. Chicken care. Chicken history. And so what, all chickens, okay. So all chickens how long all you, the time. How long have you been doing the podcast? About four years. That's amazing. And where where is the podcast located? On, uh, we Maryland. Everything? We're so, in Maryland. No, I mean, we're are Maryland. you on iTunes? The podcast oh, where is... are we? Platform. Every yes. platform. I'm a retired veterinary technician, so okay. I was an animal nurse for 15 years. Wow. I grew up on a farm. I was a 4-H kid. I'm actually a retired history librarian, and I do livestock history. Okay. And we have a, almost 200 episodes out there. So anything that you want to learn about with chickens, over 30 experience, 30 years experience with us. All right, coffee with the chicken ladies. All right, thank you. Thanks. Thanks. And then after a two-day drive and 16 hours of being on the road later, we are now home. It was really cool just catching up with old friends and meeting some of you guys, some of the new, new people, new friends, and some of you guys who watch our channel. So thank you so much for being there. Thank you for so much for those of you who were there uh, during my talk and then just meeting people throughout the day. It was a good feeling. And it was like, uh, those events are always like a celebration. You know, just a celebration of just this whole lifestyle that we all live. If you guys want to see a tour of McMurray Hatchery. I'll leave the video link right here so you guys could check out uh, one of these corners and you guys could check out a whole tour video that I did of a hundred year old hatchery, McMurray Hatchery, so you could check that out. Thank you guys for watching. We're back at it now. Let's, uh, let's get into it. You know, we have a lot of stuff here to do still this year, a lot of plans, and also um, we're halfway through the year. So, you know, let's get it going. Let's let's try to get back into the routine. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next time.